Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my October bullet journal plan with me 2024. This month I decided to go with a bejeweled theme or jewels to go with my year of eras themes and we've made it to the 10th month which is the 10th album Midnight's and Bejeweled is a song on Midnight's so this works perfectly with our theme. I started with my habits and goals page, but I realized I forgot that I was filming this and I forgot to press record, so just ignore that. But we're moving on to my cover page and I decided to use this dark blue to go with Midnight's because it's like kind of a midnight blue and most people associate like a dark blue with Midnight's. But I'm using a fine liner to outline jewels surrounding the heading, which I outlined with a micron pen, and I'm going to color in with my blue Tombow. Next month isn't very busy for me, but I do have school, and I'm not really sure how, um, how much homework or like how busy I'm going to be with stuff related to school so hopefully my posting schedule is the same it should be every sunday and hopefully my editing starts to kind of get back into the swing of things because i haven't really been editing videos as much as i could be just because i'm kind of trying to balance all my school stuff and editing and filming um, but i'm getting back into a good routine so expect like slightly better editing in the next few videos. Um, yeah, but last month um, I started school again, which is so fun and lovely. And I hope all of your school or just September in general is going well so far. And I hope that your autumn goes well or spring if you're in the Southern hemisphere. And now we're moving on to my calendar. I forgot that we were filming a video here for a second. Um, and I'm using my normal calendar setup, outlining the boxes. I use seven by seven boxes in my bullet journal, which is an A5 size. And outlining the heading again, which I traced from the font of Midnight's, which I don't remember what it was called, but yeah. And then I have jewels down the side, which I'm going to outline. And then, or fill in my calendar. Let me know what your favorite song on Midnight's is. Mine is either Paris, You're On Your Own Kid, or Hits Different. Um, I really like all those songs from Midnight's, and obviously I like most of them, but there are a few that I don't really listen to. And I've also been listening to a lot of sort of more fall-related music, so a lot of Conan Gray, a lot of like Red and Evermore, a lot of like older music, um, yeah, but that's, that's what my fall playlist is this year, and I always add, of course, like, you know, the We Fell in Love in October, Sweater Weather, the iconic songs, I guess, um, yeah, and I really like to make seasonal playlists every sort of three months I make a new one and then I have spring summer fall and winter and I add songs that remind me of that season and also songs that I'm listening to a lot or came out that in that period of time so I have sort of a time capsule sort of vibe based on what I thought spring was like at that time and also what songs I was listening to a lot even if they're not like spring like in summer I added short and sweet and brat and stuff like that um, but I also added 
a couple like random songs that I like either heard on Instagram or just in edits or something that I liked and I added them. So yeah, that's that's how I do my playlists if you're needing playlist inspiration for fall. Um, and as you can see, I've done my gratitude page, which is always very simple because it just gets filled in throughout the month. And my weekly spreads, which are always the same because I really like this one page format. So it doesn't take up too much space in my journal, but I still have enough room to write down all my tasks. And I like the, the sort of spreads that I've been making each month this year, and I probably won't change it up that much next, next year, but we'll see. There's still time to find new spreads that I want to do. I want to try and be a little bit more creative in my journal next year and like creative with my spreads and layouts um, and not just keep the same thing. But if I do start like kind of finding that I'm not using it as much, then I'll obviously switch back. But now it's time for a final flip through. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and like, subscribe and comment if you want to. And I will see you next week in a weekly vlog. Bye.